Diogenes Jimenez and his wife struggled to make a living selling orange juice. They're among the millions of Colombians who voted for Gustavo Petro, the first left-wing presidential candidate with a serious chance of winning. I voted for Gustavo Petro because I'm tired of the old political class that doesn't care about the poor. It's time that the working class gets a chance at a decent life. The former mayor of the capital, Bogota, who was once an M19 urban guerrilla, has tapped into massive discontent with the political establishment. He is seen as a champion of the poor and the marginalized. But Jaime Castro warns that Petro, who was close to Venezuela's Hugo Chavez, is a wolf in sheep's clothing. We must be clear, Petro is a populist disguising as a leftist. Populism can also be disguised as center or right wing, but in the end it's a strategy to get power and to not let it go. On the opposite extreme of the ideological divide is Ivan Duque, seen as a younger version of his mentor, conservative former president Álvaro Uribe. He represents the status quo and those opposed to a historic peace deal signed with FARC rebels. Inexperienced but charismatic, at this rally he comforted a woman whose missing mother was kidnapped by FARC rebels 10 years ago, promising to see that justice is done. The showdown between the two candidates will undoubtedly impact a still fragile peace agreement that ended more than 50 years of armed conflict with the FARC. Petro and Duque have less than three weeks to win over Colombians who voted for other, more moderate candidates in the first round. But many people tell us that they would rather cast a blank ballot rather than vote for a president they don't want. And that gives Duque, who won the most votes, a decided advantage. Petro is wasting no time trying to assure Colombians he won't take from the rich to give to the poor. Rather, that he will make the poor rich, or at least middle class. If he can defeat the fear factor, he might stand a chance. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Bogota.